I'd like to go through how to present the economic cycle to the sellers. So this is useful whether or not you are presenting when uh, you have a regular seller or you have a cash CPO seller, it really doesn't matter. Here's how to describe the three pathways to them. So I'm gonna just do it as if I'm presenting to our pretend sellers. So, hey, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, thank you so much for letting me go through this. I'm gonna hand you the economic cycle. This is laminated, I'm gonna hand it to you and keep mine. So I've got all my bullet points in front of me. So Clement Juglar back in 1860 set up the economic cycle, which is a seven to 11 year cycle. You've probably seen this in the stock market. You've seen it in the housing market. The housing market basically follows the economic cycle. I'd probably even argue that the economic cycle follows the housing market many times. So you probably remember what happened back in 2007. Did you own a home then? Were you in this home? Oh, I see. Okay. So. Most markets around the country, not just here, crested the third quarter of last year. That's back over here. So now we're a year into that cresting. What does that mean? We're bumping along the top. We're seeing more expired listings now. We're seeing some price drops. Not too many, fortunately, because there's very few homes on the market, which is still going to get keep your price for at least now fairly consistent. So let's have a look at the three pathways that i can suggest for you so the first pathway is hold the home for the price so what do i mean by that well it's 11 7 to 11 years so let's use 10 years because that makes it really easy so 10 years is makes it easy in math right so let's hold the home for the price so i want you to think about the holiday that's coming up right now there's always holidays throughout the year but this one happens to be thanksgiving so the table we're sitting around now i want you to think about the people who are coming around your table or the people you'd love to be there around your table your pets that you have there your children that you have there your grandparents your parents um, that are going to be around that thanksgiving table does that work for you in 10 years time what's that oh you're 62 now so yeah, you'll be 72 then, I, I understand. So, um, oh, you're not gonna have your, oh, I understand, okay. So what's that? Oh, you thought the kids were gonna come home for the holidays and you're in this four bedroom house and there's just the two of you now. I totally understand. So you don't think that 10 year cycle will work for you? Okay, so let's look at pathway two. So pathway two is become or remain a landlord and, and rent it. I can help you with that. We can get a property management company in, or I may have a property management company. But here's the thing. If you're going to rent it out, I don't want you to think about selling in three and a half to five years time. So five and a half years time. Statistically, that's going to be what we call the trough. So we're at the peak right now. We go into recession, we hit the trough, and we go back to the peak again, which is called the expansion cycle. You've probably... Yes, I hear you. I've got some gray hairs too. We've been through this before, right? So you've seen all of this before. So basically, if you want to hold it for the price pathway one, I want you to think about that 10 year cycle. Don't think about three and a half to five and a half years where you'll be selling down at the trough. So just, yes, yes, I hear you. So if you want to be a landlord, again, same thing. Don't tip, dip your toe in and think, oh, I'll try it in two or three years because we easily could be at the trough. Just so you know, last time around the country, I'm going to mention my particular market, we went down about 30%. Some areas of the country went down 35% in terms of your house's value. Obviously, we don't, you, yes, you're at that 600,000 right now. And they literally went down to 400,000 last time around at, at your price point. Absolutely. So your third option, well, let's just return to number one and number two again. Are you sure this doesn't work for you? Let's think about again, the thanksgiving table are you sure you don't want to got it okay oh you've been a landlord before and you definitely don't want to do that okay so your third pathway is to sell it now now here's the thing because most markets around the country crested a year ago at this point when that light switch goes off it tends to start going down pretty quickly so we don't want you chasing the market down so i can get you on coming what we call coming soon right away we can only do that for two weeks 
And um, then what that means is you're advertised out there. We can build some excitement. We can do lots of marketing for you. And then when you're ready, people can come through the door and actually see your home. They won't be able to come in right now if we do coming soon. So would you like to? Oh, that sounds like a good idea. Fantastic. And of course, we do have our cash CPO offer for you as well. That means that um, we can get you a full market value cash offer. I already have it approved for you. In fact, I think I brought the paperwork with me. Let me take a look. Yes, here we go. So how this works is that you can cash out in 12 days to 90 days. You can get 70% of your cash right away. And what, what was that, Gretchen? Oh, the honeydew list that you talked about on your home. So, Barb, apparently Gretchen has a honeydew. Yeah. Oh, you wished you'd taken that popcorn off the ceiling. I hear you. What else do you think would make your home really good value? Or I know that you wanted to wait a little bit to finish a, a honeydew list off. Tell me what those things are that you think would add value. And, and just with my experience, I've sold over 3,000 homes here. I can probably help you with what will bring you more money and, and what would. Okay, now I've got the list of things. So with our cash CPO offer, what happens is you'll get the 70% cash of your full market value immediately. And I happen to have already had one prepared for you here. It's all signed by the buyer. We do have an investor buyer. His name's Fred Bin, and he had already targeted your home to for approval. So this is what it looks like. What happens to the other 30%? Oh, no, this isn't your average cash offer that you've seen advertised out on social media and everything else. What they do is they pay for the inspection. I've already talked to you about certified pre-owned where you pay for the inspection and the appraisal and offer a home warranty. So our partner, Zoom Casa, pays for all of that for you. So through the cash CPO team, that's all paid for for you. They put every, They pay for the inspection. They pay for the appraisal. We'll get those back in a week. They put everything right on the on the inspection. Meanwhile, you've got your 70% cash out. Once everything's put right, you know, your honeydew list, I think you're right about those countertops. They, they look a bit like chip for mica. So they will put new counters in for you, believe it or not. We'll get you on coming soon for a couple of weeks. We'll remarket you. And two thirds of the cash CPO team sellers make more money than with a traditional listing, but you don't have to go through showings or the lockbox or repairing anything or doing anything else so it's it's really which one suits you you know you mentioned you really didn't want to have the showings because of your pets and having to take the pets out i know i did it last year myself we had to take our three dogs out in the truck for an hour while all these showings were going on absolutely so we can progress with our cash cpo offer should you decide it's not for you of course we do, we do all this other marketing, A, B, C, D. We sell more homes than anybody else in the market here. Yes, no, I absolutely agree. So again, we'll come back to the shift diagram here. Um, here's our, some bullet points for you. So leading, let's talk about leading indicators in these economic factors. I know you all already agree that a lot of economists are saying that we're going to be flat for a while at least. So are you seeing any political unrest right now? Ha, ha, ha. Days on market. Yes, it's getting a little bit later. How about interest rate shifts? Faster drop, rise or drop in price. Yes, we're seeing that shift in inventory. A little bit. That's not too bad. Gross domestic product, new building stats, any of these that are particularly relevant at this time. Fantastic. Okay, so now I'm going to go through our traditional listing presentation with you and show you all the marketing that we do. Now we've actually looked at the economic cycle and what's happening out there. And quite honestly, not many agents will tell you this. Um, I should also mention that I know we've gone through the certified pre-owned uh, presentation before. That's the first thing in our listing presentation. And yes, you pay for the inspection and the appraisal. I've been doing this since 2007. We have agents using it around the country. And it's also from a best-selling book <clears throat> with this as the biggest program. You're right. Yes. So the buyers normally do pay for the inspection. And of course, through that, if they're getting a loan, they pay for the appraisal. What it does for you is everybody goes in eyes wide open because when we have that inspection, yes, it's going to cost you $450, $500. You don't even have to spend any money putting anything right. Everybody goes in eyes wide open. We don't want, again, this is something most agents won't tell you, over a third of deals fall apart. We, you're all excited. We help you get packed up. 
and onto your next place. And of course, I know where that is because we've chatted before. And then a third of the time it drops out. Why? There's two main reasons. One is the inspection. They get scared off. There's over 50 items on the average inspection report. And the second one is the appraisal because prices are pretty volatile right now. Of course, if you pay for those, we can take that out of the equation. And of course, if you choose, oh, you're leaning towards the cash CPO offer because they pay for it all for you, totally understand. And you'll end up with a certified pre-owned listing with them upfronting all of the money. Of course, it comes off in, in, the, in the long term. Okay, you're leaning towards the cash CPO. Let's go through that one in detail.